And now we're at the step of uh, getting the hardware onto the heart frame. And uh, so, so we, we're going to work with three different pieces here on, on the frame. We're going to work with um, these bridge pins. These are the gold threaded pins that we talked about before. And the, these blue ones are called um, zither pins. And uh, the bridge pins are always the easiest to put in first because we're going to hammer them a little bit lower than, than, than the, uh, the zither pins. So I'll show you. There's, two, there's several different ways you can put the pins in too. The easiest really is to, you know, uh, <coughs> the gold ones, the, the, the bridge pins are going to go in this lower row right here. The zither pins are going to go in this top row. That's, you'll see as we put these in, but just to let you know right off the bat, the zither pin, the, <coughs> the bridge pins, are going to go in the lower row. I'll show you. So you can hammer them in. And the depth to hammer them to is, as you look at the pin, there's a threaded area and then there's a unthreaded uh, little throat area and then it comes up to the, to the, the hex of the, of the head. And you just want to tap the pin in right up to where it just touches that, that, the hex head on the top. Um, so that's one way to put it in as I showed you. You can hammer it in. Another way to do it is you can tap it in just to start it and then you can use this um, 3 16 hex head and you can, you can actually screw it in manually. It's going to take a lot longer than tapping them in but um, some people like to have that option so I just wanted to show you. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to as, as I recommended before, you're going to do the whole row of the bridge pins first because they're, they set in the frame lower. But I'm going to jump ahead here and I'm going to show you once you have your whole row of those pins, you're going to take your zither pins and you're going to tap those in. And you're only going to tap them in about a quarter of the way and you're going to leave about three quarters up. The reason that you don't want to hammer them in so deep is because later on you're going to be turning them to, tune, to, to, to tighten the strings. And so if you, if you hammer them in too far initially, then when you're trying to tighten the strings, it's going to, the pin will go in way too far. So you're just going to tap them in until about three quarters of it is, 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 um, is standing up like that. All right, now that you've hammered in uh, the zither pins and the bridge pins, uh, there's one more thing to do to the frame before, you, before you're going to glue it on the box and we have these, these tiny little eyelets, these little brass eyelets. They're very tiny and uh, you know, they're just cumbersome around your fingers but you want to just find a way to fit them into the hole and they should be a little tight as they slide into the hole so sometimes you can't push it in with your fingers. So I'll, I'll show you a little trick. So here's, here's the little eyelet. We're going to put it, I always start up here. It just sort of fits but it's a little too snug to pull in with my thumb. So I take a flathead screwdriver and after I've just sort of like set the set the um, in there. I'm just going to use this, the screwdriver and then that pushes it in flush just like that. So before you glue the, f the frame onto the box, this is the last thing that you want to do because it's easier to do it when it's flat on your table surface than on the box.